Hi, today I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and free way to store your cords, your air compressor lines, and any other things that you might want to wrap up and store in your garage. Um, but you don't always want to just toss them on the table because then they get all kinked up and messed up and it's kind of a hassle. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to store them in such a way that they will hang in an organized manner and be easy to get to. Now this isn't high tech, it's not rocket science, it's actually just making something out of nothing, but it, that's what makes it so good is that it's just simple, easy, and free. And we like free. So let's say that you had your extension cord out, you had to run a charger to your boat or whatever, and now it's kind of a mess. But what you would do is just simply wind it up like you normally would do. And I like to just kind of coil it up like this. And as I'm coiling it up, I like to twist the rope a little like this. So if you don't, it kind of gets messed up. But if you twist it, it kind of coils itself. So I'll coil it up. And then I like to go ahead and plug it on the end. And there you get that ready for the next step. Now like I said, the great thing about this is just in simplicity. It's just a simple thing, um, but so effective. What I'll do is I'll take some rope, and usually I'll I use something like this. Of course, you can use anything you got. Um, here's one I made out of twine. Um, you can just use little pieces of rope you've got laying around. Here's a couple others that I've made. Um, just something simple. Take about 14 to 16 inches of rope, about that much right there. Cut it. Now what you want to do is simply... The easiest way is just to take put the ends together, tie them off in a knot, and once you've done this, make sure that it's strong enough. Another way you can do it, which I actually prefer, is to take one end of the rope, tie a knot in it. Take the other end of the rope, also tie a knot in it. Then take and make kind of like a slip knot. Put this through like here. And this actually gives you a loop that you can change the diameter on. But once you've done that, regardless of how you tied it, you've got your loop here. Then you simply take your cord like this, like that. Then you hang it up. Find some place in your garage, maybe organize something on a wall where you've got, I don't know, nails or hooks or whatever sticking out. Hang it up and it's nice and neat. Something I made to organize my extension cords and my compressor hoses. I basically took a dowel rod that was about six feet tall and drilled holes in it and put small metal pieces in it to hold things and then put it on a stand and then I have got it in my garage and whenever I need to store my cords I just simply use the rope method I just told you about and they're good to go. Nice, neat and organized for when I need them. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how to organize your cords in your garage. I use it for my extension cords, my air compressor cords, hoses and anything else I need to hang. Hope that helps you organize your garage a little bit. Do me a favor, take a few seconds to like the video, I'd appreciate it and um, I'll have more for you later.